For the past four years, Cindy Blair with the Alexandria Museum of Art has enjoyed working with veterans through the Alexandria VA's Expressive Art Therapy Program. They have such an amazing spirit. Now it's open to women. Alice Dale says she's excited to see more opportunities for veterans like herself. Just in these little few classes, I've found that a lot of things that you know, how you have negative things going on in your mind that I've changed my mindset about. A mind is something that you don't want to waste. And when you sit home and do absolutely nothing or you're not around a lot of people, you lose your people skills. Julia Lott, a psychologist at the VA, says the informal environment of art therapy can help veterans work through a variety of issues like post-traumatic stress, anxiety, and depression. It gives you an an outlet that offers a little bit of distraction, but also opens you up in a different way. It also kind of makes us a little more self-aware of what our needs are. And so we get better at taking kind of ownership and asking or providing support to other people. Meanwhile, the men's class, which started in 2014, continues to provide an outlet for veterans like Lonnie Bridges and Donald Willis. It takes my mind from uh pressures of the world, things that I don't want to see or think about, pulls me out of myself. I've had pictures in art shows. That means I have to go and talk to people. I have to be in competition. A lot of my work is things that I experienced, maybe even in a combat situation, but I redo it on canvas. When you're thinking of things that aren't so pretty or aren't so colorful, by being able to express it, it's the same as talking about it without using words. And while Blair's art students continue to thrive, she says the focus is on the creative process regardless of the outcome. There's a level of acceptance you have to go through when you're learning. Um, that sort of growth mindset of, okay, so I'm learning to do this thing. I'm not good at it yet, but I'm getting there. I mean, that's a life skill. It teaches you to sort of hang in there, stick to it, you can solve these problems. In Alexandria, Lydia Magallanes for News Channel 5, your local station.